Thank you for your interest in our refinance products. Follow along as we discuss the ins and outs of VA refinances. Be it that you are interested in refinancing, it's safe to assume that you have already bought a house and mostly understand how that process goes. Refinancing is very similar in most areas as buying a house, but the kind of refinance you choose can dramatically change what is required and what isn't. One quick thing to note, regardless of which VA refinance product you want to use or which loan product you are coming from, all loans that will be secured by a VA loan require a 210-day seasoning from the first payment of the previous loan. This means that if you just bought your house, you will likely have to wait a few months before you can close on a VA refinance. Let's talk about the types of VA refinances. If you're looking to lower your interest rate or tap into your home's equity to access cash and pay off debt, or simply switch into a VA loan from another loan product, there are a few VA loan products you should consider. Through refinancing, you can renegotiate your mortgage terms to get a mortgage that is best suited to meet your current needs. There are two VA refinance options that allow homeowners to take advantage of the VA loan benefits to get a better interest rate or cash back by accessing the equity in their home. These options are known as the VA EARL or VA Interest Rate Reduction Refinance Loan more commonly known as the VA Streamline Refinance. And then there is the VA Cash Out Refinance. The VA EARL option was created by the VA to allow veterans the ability to capitalize on lower interest rates available in the market that may not have been available at the time of purchasing the house. In order to use the VA EARL, you must currently be in a VA loan. The reason why the EARL is also commonly known as streamlined is because there are no appraisal or termite inspection requirements and generally the person refinancing doesn't have to requalify for the loan. This means that you shouldn't have to supply your pay stubs, bank statements, tax returns, or most other items that you supplied your lender when you originally bought your house. The reason for this is, it is generally understood that after the EARL closes, the veteran or service member will be making a lesser payment than they were before. And because of that, the risk to the lender is also less. This product is beneficial for both borrower and lender as it lowers overall exposure and risk. The second refinancing product available through the VA is the VA Cash Out Refinance. This refinancing option allows a veteran or active duty service member to tap into the equity in their home and pull out cash to use at their disposal. There are a number of reasons why you might want to use a cash out refinance, like for paying off debt, making upgrades or renovations to your home, for emergencies, or if you simply want to pull out cash for other ventures. Due to the fact that the overall mortgage, and possibly the payment as well, is going to be higher than it was before, any veteran or service member looking to do a VA cash out refinance should expect to have to re-qualify for the loan and re-qualify the house. Unlike the VA Streamline refinance, where nothing much else is changing besides a reduction in interest rate, a cash out refinance increases the loan amount of the home against what it was before refinancing. Because of that increased risk, most lenders are going to want the borrower to re-qualify for the home. If you are coming from any other loan product and are switching into a VA loan, this is also considered a VA cash out refinance and you will have to re-qualify for the mortgage. Vice versa, service members or veterans can also refinance out of their VA loan into a conventional loan to free up their VA entitlement. Freeing up VA entitlement can give the veteran or service member first tier entitlement again, which allows them to buy another home, regardless of purchase price with no money down. If you are interested in learning more about first tier entitlement versus second tier entitlement, please check out our video titled Getting Started. Let's talk about the process of refinancing. Similar to a home purchase, for a VA cash out refinance, you will need to have an appraisal and likely a pest inspection completed on your home to determine the value of the property. For a VA EARL, appraisals are not required. Think of the refinance as if you were purchasing the home from yourself. 
Because of this, you should expect similar timelines for closing on your home and should expect to go through processing and underwriting just like you did on your original home purchase. During processing and underwriting, your lender will make various requests for documentation to prove that you are eligible and able to refinance. Once you've gone all the way through processing and underwriting, it's time to go to the closing table. The closing process, for the most part, is the same for both purchase and refinance loans and is pretty straightforward. For a refinance, there are less people involved in the closing process compared to a home purchase and typically includes you as the refinancer, a closing agent, and possibly a notary. Once you finish signing all of the loan documents during closing, you're good to go. Your loan should fund three to four days after you sign those final loan documents. All owner-occupied refinances are required to wait three full calendar days before the loan can fund. For example, if you sign your final loan documents on Monday, your loan will likely fund and close on Friday. Congratulations on successfully refinancing your home! Well, that concludes this video. If you have any more questions about refinancing, give us a call at the number shown above or by clicking the Apply button and one of our specialists will get in touch with you.